strive towards improving blood transfusion services at Edward Francis Moore Teaching Hospital is organizing a fundraising gala dinner at the Paradise Street Hotel, Pinchamay Hall on the 26th April 2013 from 8 p.m. onward. Entertainment by New Era, Humanity Stars, Delhi Magic Canute, and Poetic X. Platinum tables, $50,000. Diamond tables, $40,000. Gold tables, $30,000. Silver, $25,000. And bronze, $20,000. Individual tickets are $1,000. Chief Patron, Honorable Balagaba Jahumpa, Minister of Health and Social Welfare. From your busy schedule, take a poll, dig deep into your pockets, and come through to support a worthy cause. For bookings, call 77-48158 or 311-3570. QCells Q Football is the easiest way to get up-to-the-minute updates of your favorite football team in league or cup competitions. Q Football automatically sends real-time information on goals and results and much more to your mobile wherever you are. Just send your team's name by SMS to 411 and get live updates on goals and scores for only one Dallas each. Send your team's name to 511 to get one month's worth of Q Football updates for only $10 each. Q Football, follow your heroes. For more information, call 111. QSEL, Super Boss, the Gambia's quality network. Welcome to the interview. Tonight I have Aisetu S. Barry with a Jilanka in brackets. She's a grade 11 student at the Methodist Academy. She's just been to the United States in Washington to attend the Model United Nations Club. Aisetu, welcome to the interview. Thank you, my pleasure. Going to America for the first time, it was great. Yeah, it was a great experience. <laughs> now, how were you selected to go to the Model United Nations Club? Um, well, we were mostly selected um, based on merits at school and um, the interest that you have in current issues that are going on in the world. Yeah, so the selection was based on that. What, 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 what were the things that you were more specific about events? good in the world. What were you following yourself as a student? Um, I personally on my own way I was following like the Arab Spring, so what was going on in the Arab world and following the things going on in Syria, democracy and other things. Also I was following on women's right and girls right, yeah. You find the Arab Spring to be something out of place. Yeah. How would you describe the Arab Spring as a student? I would describe it as something that is really um, tormenting seeing that from one Arab Spring we are not getting the solutions but we are going to and yet another one that is be going to bring much more distru dis disaster to the country. So I saw it as a need and the urge to do something about it. Yeah, that everyone should be concerned and um, to think about solutions that we can bring together. It's so like what we will describe as a pseudo revolution a revolution that doesn't bring about a change yeah but anyway you are at grade 11 at the methodist academy good school isn't it yeah it's a good school it's one of the best schools in the gambia i'm not surprised whenever the was exam results are out you produce the best three or best two students yeah topping the list yes that's right because that is because of the teachers that we have in the school and the staff, the principal, 
it's a place whereby education is very standard. It's something that they always put their number one priority. It's very hard to be in Methodist, but also it's one of the best schools that you can go to and get very good grades in the Gambia. Before we talk about the model United Nations Club, which you attended, who is Isatu Esbari and why do they call you Jilanka? Tell me about yourself. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's, a, that's, well, that's easy to answer, I think, because there's not much about me. Um, Isatu Bari is um, a girl of 17 years old, as you said, in grade 11. Yes, I am a fuller. Um, Jilanka is, um, the Jilanka came as a result of the dedication and love that I have for the first family of the Gambia. I am a strong APRC, not a supporter, but I'm a strong APRC militant. So that's what brought the name Jilanka. That's not the only name, but that's the name that is much more known. Yeah, I said, so I just decided to be, I said, as well, Jilanka. And your friends call you Jilanka? Yeah, they call me Jilanka. Yeah, because, yeah, they call me Jilanka. <laughs> Yeah. I said to you were selected among 32 Gambians that went to the United States in this uh, model United Nations club. When it was made known to you that you're part of this 32, how did you feel? I feel very happy in the first time. But um, what I felt the most was I felt very proud because being um, chosen to go and represent your country, you are not representing your individual self, you are representing the Gambia on such a big gathering. It gives you so much pride because I believe that Gambia is all that we have and Gambia is my pride. So it's an opportunity that I want. So being able to, being able to get that opportunity to represent the Gambia, it, it was really something that made me very proud. Now, tell us something about this model United Nations Club. What is it? Okay, um, the model United Nations Club is a club under the UN. Um, it aims at bringing together students from different parts of the world, from different categories, students at school level, colleges, universities, to bring them together and make them um, to step into the shoes of world ambassadors, through which um, they can discuss about the prob some of the problems going on in the world. Because they believe that um, when students, students are official leaders of tomorrow. So they believe that when students are brought together to discuss about some of the problems and they are left alone to make the decisions without, without any form of interference, they alone are using their own mentalities to see about the problems. We believe that if that is done, students will try to know what is causing the problems and when they think of the solutions that might cause them not to cause the same mistakes when they step into the position of world leaders in the future it's like repositioning you in the present world yes how did you how did the gambian contingent that went to the mu the modern united nations club and munc how did you gel? How did you all come together? What was the vision? What did you plan together and say, when we go there, this is going to be our approach? Our vision, our main aim and target was to go there and make Gambia proud. That was our main vision. That is our aim. We went there. We made our research before we went. We met with people from different parts of the world, students, come together, debate. Yeah, but behind everyone's mind, you had the uh, desire to make the country proud because you are there not as your individual self, but as a Gambian delegate. So it was something that the main aim was to make Gambia proud. All of you were students? Yeah, all of us were students with teachers from different schools. Very well. Now, um, this was, like you said, your first visit to the United States. Yes. What was your impression about the United States? You were in Washington, D.C., <laughs> District of Columbia. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a great experience. I, yeah, I have to admit, yeah, America is very beautiful, the developments, you see all of that. But, yeah, it makes you, to me, it didn't make me, because it was something that was uploaded by many African delegates, but it, in me, it um, instilled the spirit of envy to want your country to be 